good morning welcome to a video an actual video yeah i know it's been a while i'm riding up to see roy ride with roy i'm having a morning off work and uh, roy and i are going to drive over from his house to cockgrave to meet up with a special visitor who's come rather a long way more on that later morning Roy good morning Paul how are you just, just turn around he's got a QR code look he's got a QR code on his back are you wanting to look at your bum yeah no <laughs> definitely not this time of the morning well any time of <laughs> day actually <laughs> so we've uh, we've got a special morning haven't we we have We're going to meet somebody Shall we, shall we not tell our viewers? Shall we tell them when we're on the way? Let's, let's make them wait. Keep them in suspense. Yeah. yeah. But the only trouble is, they might expect too much if we do that. They could do, yeah. Although I'm sure it's going to be a big deal. How's Quite that? a secure one now, aren't we? I That's like good, it. isn't it? I like it. And my new modification. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like it. Which style. allows us to get more on, if it fits. This is the acid test. Look at that. Look at that, look. Hey. Have you done that all by your own? You'd think you'd think I'd had practice at that you technique. Would. Yeah. So Roy and I have arrived at Cockgrave. We're here safe, Roy. Yeah. You got his. Well, safe, I was driving. You, you so. were driving. We didn't get lost. No, I had no. the sat nav on. And and Plus we have a we have a visitor that Plus we told you about. Yeah. So this is Neil. He's come right. all the way from New Zealand. And Sydney. Oh, sorry, Australia. Oh, Sydney, Australia. I've got it wrong now. You well, I think it was straight I know. I bet you'll edit that out. I will. So this is Neil, who's come all the way from Australia. All the way from That's better. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah. So Neil's a regular viewer of both of our channels, and he's over in the UK. We'll talk about it as we go around. But he's met, met up with us, and we're going for a ride about 40 miles. Of which you're doing of which, 20. Of which I'm doing 20. <laughs> Fantastic, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and we've got a great day for it, as you can see. It's beautiful. Yeah. But first, we're going to have a coffee from a wonderful Ginger and Blue. You've seen them before. How's your fat white then, sir? It's brilliant, thank you very much. Nice and nice. kind. <laughs> How's your espresso? Uh, How's it rate in the UK to Australia? I don't know, to be honest. Not appealing. Oh, it's pretty good. It's yeah. Just, it's, I'm not we let. take our coffee very seriously. Yeah, I know you're proper yeah. coffee geeks in Australia, aren't you? This is Melbourne, the coffee. Melbourne's, Melbourne's the coffee yeah, place yeah, that they really say, but Sydney is a lot of Close. great coffee cafes yeah. there. We so, in fact, we're so good that we sent Starbucks oh. on its way. They've only got a very, very small footprint in Australia. Yeah, they, they couldn't get any traction. That's right. They, they deserve yeah. it. Yeah. 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 It's just, I always say um, Starbucks is to coffee what McDonald's is to restaurants. Yeah. It's in the title, but it ain't one. Mm. Right. I'm glad you sorted out the weather. I tried to put yeah. So the plan is to head from Cockgrave into and around Beaver Castle in the Vale of Beaver. Roy's put together the route. It's kind of the greatest hits of, of the Vale of Beaver. But we're just taking a detour to show Neil historic church. The good news, Neil, yeah. is that uh, we actually passed Lady Bay, or near to Lady Bay on the way back, so you can drop you off there. Okay. Save you coming back to Cockgrave. Okay. There's a police operation in progress. Yeah. Well, I warned them that Neil was coming. Neil was coming. These Aussies. Can we, can we hide him? I know. I suppose his shirt's a bit He's obvious. A bit bright, but... isn't he? That's right. Yeah. I'm yeah. a bit far away from my from the inner west of Sydney, though, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul, how's the how's the uh, Zwift career going? How's the what? How's the Zwift career going? Oh, the Zwift career, yeah, I'm I'm really big on Zwift, as you know. <laughs> I'm funny. thinking of turning pro on Zwift because I enjoy it so much. Yeah, I, I think you should. I had to drag myself away to come outdoors just because you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, it's, uh, it's a it's a great thing to do in the summer, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> I think I could proudly say I am still no Zwifting. <laughs> 
I wouldn't get to experience all of this. That's right. It's so big... I've just noticed on your shirt, yeah. it's bicycle club. Is that a club thing or an Australian thing referring to it as a bicycle club? Yeah, good question. I, I questioned that when I first, first saw it, but it seems to be the uh, what, what it was called back in the, um, the beginnings of the club. And I guess they're still very, very traditional there. Yeah. Uh, and it, I think it sounds good, DHBC. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's probably where it comes from. Yeah. But um, I think we always just call it um, uh, the, the cycle club. Right, okay. So, yeah, good question. It's, uh, it's perhaps something that can be answered uh, yeah. in the comments, maybe. Because uh, I was talking with someone the other day, and when I was a lad, the style of bike we call road bikes were called racers. Was that true when you was a lad? Yeah, absolutely. Dropped handlebikes, yeah. we're racers. They were racing bikes. Yeah. We were just talking off camera about how long Neil's been in Australia. And Neil just brought up English breakfasts. Do you miss egg and bacon? Do you have oh, it? I, look, I, I do like a good fryer. Yeah. Um, it's not something we have. You can get them in Australia. Yeah. Again, they're not, as I was saying to Roy, the bacon isn't quite the same in no. Australia. It, it doesn't crisp up quite as well, and I kind of miss that. Yeah, so probably probably more likely. So I have had, I have had a couple of adventures here while I've been here, just yes. to reacquaint myself. Just to reacquaint yourself. Reacquaint myself. Yeah. It's been very enjoyable. So despite obviously Neil's current Australian accent, he originates from the sunny climate of Manchester, which I guess is quite different to Sydney. Uh, quite different to Sydney, yes. Although, you know, they, a lot of people make out about the rain in Manchester is, is um, relentless and horrendous. Last year we had two and a half metres of rain in Sydney. Two and a half metres? Two and a half metres of rain, which was, I think it's about three times the amount that Manchester got. It might actually be more. Um, so, yeah, I think the difference is in Manchester it drizzles, whereas in Sydney it just comes down in Just Sarah. come down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Down in a lot of rain or nothing. A lot of rain. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been here in the UK this trip? We we got here about two weeks ago. And you've, down, you've had a few cycling trips? We ha I have, yes. I've been to, uh, down in, ba in the Bristol Bath area. So I've done about 250 kilometres of riding around there. I'm um, enjoying, went over the, Men over the Mendix. Yep. Um, some of the like, horrendous little climbs out of there into Bristol and um, enjoy the countryside in general. Um, and uh, prior to that I was in France and the Dordogne area. So enjoyed that as well. So it's been a real adventure. So you're on almost a world tour. Almost a world tour. Yeah. Have we lost Roy? Where is he? So we haven't actually come all that far, but we're going to have a second coffee shop, coffee, coffee shop, coffee shop, coffee stop. So now we've left the coffee shop. Roy is taking us up Stathern Hill, aren't you? Well, no, I should be dragging behind yeah, you. Yeah, but you never told hill. me we were going up this hill, did you? Well, you I, snuck knew, it in. I knew you wouldn't come if I told you that. This is true. <laughs> but I suppose you've got to get up high at some point when you're in the Vale of Beaver. You right there, Neil? Yeah, looking forward to this climb. This climb. What's the hill called, Roy? Stathen. Well, I don't know what it's called. I think it is Stathen Hill, isn't it? Stathen Hill, yeah. I think so. I mean, it, this is probably the easiest one, Neil, of the oh. ones. It's not steep, but it's long. I think you should send him up the terrace and we'll yeah. meet him at the other end. Yeah. I'll see you. Makes you sick, doesn't it? We're going up this hill. Yeah. I said, Neil, take off if you want to. And he did. He's gone off like a... Yeah. He's gone off like a... A rocket. He thinks he's on the flat. Yeah. He's well trained from Sydney Hills. That's <laughs> obviously. Obviously. <laughs>
glorious day it is today. It's uh, 24, 25 degrees currently. Nice to have a Friday morning off to ride my bike. Pulling in, Paul. Okay. I'm having some energy drink before the next hill. You got a, uh, a bottle of Red Bull, have you? <laughs> yeah. Pint of Red Bull. It's embarrassing though, isn't it, when we talk <coughs> about hills and this guy thinks it's just a pimple. <laughs> yeah, it's just a rise. <laughs> we thought it was a hill, but no, it's just a rise. P pimples around <coughs> Cambridge. <coughs> These yeah. are a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I snuck in another hill. I'm so unfit. Hardly been able to ride the bike the last few weeks for various reasons. I really need to get my fitness back. Neil, of course, is hardly out of breath. <laughs> it's 1643. Beaver Castle, which was a, uh, a royalist stronghold, yep. was was besieged by the parliamentarians. Yep. And it's they a actually from camped in it's a top church here overnight. Yep. And when they left in the morning. So, have you enjoyed uh, this ride for the first time in many years? Yeah. It's in been, this area, it's been beautiful seeing yeah. it. It's, um, I've feel like I'm acquainted with it from <laughs> yeah. the videos, and uh, that's that's it's all been better to actually see it in in uh, in the real um and it's a glorious day as well oh, it's so. a superb day it's kind of australian weather day isn't it it's an australian australian weather day it's yeah. a perfect <coughs> i think one of our winter <coughs> one of our winter days no it's a really really good day so uh, thank you very much for um inviting me and allowing me no. to be part of your no videos. it's great it's good it's good, to, it's good that he came all this way especially to ride with me that, and, and and that roy could and come along fitted, on his day out yeah, and it. fitted you in <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. well it's your friday out as a carer isn't it you know it's well, your, it is, yeah, yeah. Well, no, the carer doesn't even know I'm out. No, oh <laughs> no, I oh, no. But no, it's been good. Um, I think I think it's good. you're part of this community that that we have. Yep. Uh, both myself, Channel and Roy, you, you comment across both of us. Quite a few people do. But yep. it's great, great to meet you. Thank you, and thank you for everything you've done uh, in terms of getting me into uh, cycling. You're more it's than really welcome. Helping. You're yep. more than welcome. Yeah. The only thing is, he's, he's just a bit too good at it, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> but he's got youth on his side. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. He's just a young whippersnapper. Yeah. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Hope to see yeah. you again well, well, in, a, in another few never, years. Never say never. Yeah. yeah. I'll see, see you, you soon, old duffer. Get back to work. I will. I'll get back to work. See you soon. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye bye. Safe rest of your ride. Cheers. Don't, don't get lost. <laughs> One of the amazing things of the modern world of technology, the internet, YouTube, etc., that you can become friends with someone on the opposite side of the world. They can come over here on holiday, you hook up, go for a ride with a friend that you've never met. Absolutely brilliant. And of course, it's a grand day. Unfortunately for me, I'm, uh, I've still got some work to do today. So uh, I just didn't have the time to, to do the full ride that the guys are planning back to Nottingham. So I know we keep saying this, but hopefully I shall see you again in a week or so's time. <laughs> Said that last time, it's been over a month. We'll see. I'll see you soon anyway. Thanks again for watching, as always. See you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.